Hey, did you know that laughing helps burn calories? Oh, not that it's any of my business. But Netflix just added a hilarious new comedy series. You might want to check it out. Who knows? You might get a mini workout. Anyway, speaking about burning calories, guess what I did today? Dollars. Yeah, you won't believe it, but I did it. I hosted another of my Banana Republic culinary bonanzas, and this time, it was a Greek-themed dinner. Yes, darling. All the way from the glorious land of Zeus. Not to blow my own trumpet, but it was epic. Seriously, it felt like Athena blessed my kitchen with her divine touch. Oh, and did I mention... It was all vegan. Yep, not even a smidgen of dairy or any other animal products. Now, don't look so surprised. Even a carnivore like me can step out of her comfort zone once in a while, you know. And you know me, I love surprising myself. Problem was, Greek cuisine isn't traditionally vegan, so I was navigating my way through somewhat uncharted waters. The good news is, I didn't sink. I started with tzatziki as an appetizer. It's traditionally a yogurt cucumber sauce, but I made mine with dairy-free yogurt and added extra Greek spices to enhance the flavor. It was creamy, tangy, and ah, so good. Then for the main course, I'd prepared fasolata, a bean soup that's practically synonymous with Greek cuisine. Just when I thought things couldn't get any better, guess who showed up? Adam, the wine expert. Yep. He brought over this amazing selection of locally sourced wines and helped me pair each dish with the right drink. It was such a class act. You could almost hear Dionysus, the Greek god of wine, applauding from the heavens. Then came my crown jewel, the spanakopita, this divine spinach and feta cheese pastry. But instead of feta cheese, I rocked it vegan style and used tofu. I know, finding the perfect vegan feta alternative sounds impossible, but girl, I did it. And I must say, the substitute was pretty rad. Anyway, it turned out bomb, if I do say so myself. Talking about bombs, guess who bombed my chat with an octopus comment? Carlos, I swear that guy will not quit it with the marine animals. I told him about the dinner and he was like, I hope you didn't cook octopus, those things are super smart. Can you believe it? The man's obsessed. Oh, and by the way, did Emily tell you about the pottery class? Well, since we're all supposedly covered in clay next week, you're also clearly roped into it. Welcome to the gang. All right. I just had the most hilarious reunion with our old university gang. Yeah, all the usual suspects, Emily, Carlos, even Lucas managed to sneak in a few minutes. We decided to have this impromptu virtual art challenge. Envision this. An art challenge. Virtually. Can you even imagine how that worked? You know Emily, right? Our little fountain of creativity. She floated the idea of having a theme. Street food. Yes, street food. You heard it right. Dollar's great, right? I think the idea bloomed when Lucas mentioned some place with the best street tacos. I swear he's going to turn me into a food-obsessed maniac one of these days. Dollar M and I took it a step further. We're going to combine the discipline of art and the chaos of street flavors. Get our inner artists and food critics revving all at once. And what's that? Carlos's reaction? You hit the nail on the head. He was all up for it, as usual. He said something like, two birds, one stone, huh? All right, I'm game. You know he's always down for any kind of madness. Dollars. Then comes Lucas, dropping another bomb. Jimmy Fallon's art pop episode is on tonight. Think about it. Our art challenge and Fallon on the same night? Awesomeness overload. Dollar Carlos then just had to know. The time I clicked some photos at one of Fallon's shows. Dollar signs popped in his eyes like he hit jackpot or something. Where honestly, dropping that bomb made Lucas's day. Oh, and you remember that strange obsession Lucas has with clouds? He spotted one shaped like a UFO. He waved it around like it was some prophetic sign. It was madness, I tell you. Dollar, but then Emily, my God. She can turn any conversation around. 
quipped something about our art might just turn out to be out of this world good, serves Lucas right. Of course, our serious till death Carlos had to play party pooper. Says we've all lost our marbles. Jeez. But what's a group chat without our sanity abandoning us, right? And this was seriously one of those rare nostalgic moments. Reigniting the old university camaraderie, you know? A days like this kind of make you miss the good old non-social distancing times, don't you think? But also, isn't it crazy how even a pandemic can't kill the creative bug in us? It's like they say, art survives, no matter what. Well, in our case, it's got the appetite of a very hungry caterpillar. No right, I need to go finish up some stuff and prepare for Fallon night. Well, hello, hello, my dashingly daring weekday warrior. Would you believe the weekday warrior in me decided to take the road less traveled, and boy did it make all the difference. So, I went out exploring the Appalachian Mountains today with a guided tour. Yeah, I just couldn't resist the call of the wild. It was just this incredible, jaw-dropping sight. A hidden waterfall amidst the lush Appalachian greens. Dollars, I think I've earned my Nature Explorer badge for this one, don't you think? Rachel, the guide for our outdoor extravaganza, she was just brilliant, full of knowledge about the area, and just as excited about the outdoors as I am. She introduced me to Lily, a fellow adventure enthusiast. Lily girl, she made the hike so lively with her endless supply of adventure stories. Between her tales, Rachel's guidance, and the waterfall, the experience was... How should I put it? Nothing short of magical. I bet the pictures would make your eyes pop. Speaking of pictures, you remember our food-themed sketchathon, right? You'll never guess what that led to. Our dear friend Carlos, the multitasking genius he is, took up sketching while munching on his beloved tacos. And boy, you better brace yourself for Lucas's multi-tacoing puns. I mean, the man's wit is as sharp as ever. Remembering the good old times, aren't we? Oh, you know the drill, picks or didn't happen. So, guess who's adding photographer to her impressive list of jobs? Yes, yours truly. And no, before Lucas could even ask, I didn't see any UFO-shaped clouds. Confirmed, eh? Hum, you know us, though. A little competition never hurt anyone. Keeping that spirit, we've picked up our virtual pencils for a good old friendly doodling duel. Emily, with her feline Picasso, Pablo was all game. And boy am I excited to see what Carlos are going to whip up with his exquisite culinary art. Let's see how this pans out. Who do you think will take home the crown of doodler extraordinaire? Chase or should I say, taco of the town? Remember to always find time in your day to take a moment and appreciate the beauty around you. Sometimes, the briefest pause can bring the most profound joy. Today, for me, it was the mesmerizing sight of that hidden waterfall, the brilliance of my adventurous accomplices, and a round of laughs back with my favorite people in the entire world. Yep, just an everyday run-of-the-mill Olivia day. All the laughter and excitement of the day has left me breathless and wanting more. Also, on a side note, I'm having some major art table withdrawals. Whenever you've got the time, let's redesign our art corner at my place. A dash of new color here, an artsy poster there, maybe even a whole new theme. What do you say? An art makeover day should be next on our list, right? Now, doesn't that sound like a fun project to look forward to?